weren't allowed in here. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That was found the bar. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the window. The victim's name is Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy and wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Perfect. It's way too neat. 
no human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't... Put any more evidence in your mouth, you got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Addicts. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time.
Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, Android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. It's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Yeah. 
father. Go Daddy! Good house. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat>